So, welcome back. Um, today I'm gonna show you a DIY a motorized uh, pressure regulator based on this cheap pressure regulator that's normally tuned by hand. And it uses a NEMA 17 uh, motor from an old 3D printer to turn the whole thing. It has a bit of a hack for a, a level switch here. You can may see it here. This is the normal analog pressure gauge from the regulator. I added a bit of copper wire here. So I have one contact on the, on the uh, zero end and one contact at four bars. When you turn on the thing, it will calibrate itself. So it starts at the zero point and it turns the pressure up until it reaches four bars and then it knows its limits. That's the, basically the plan for it. This was a lot cheaper to make compared to just buying a pressure sensor because a pressure sensor would be like uh, 20 bucks and this basically did cost me nothing. I mean, it cost me a little bit of work time but it's actually not that hard to just proxy down a few of copper wires. But you have to be careful for the, for the moving wire in the middle, you have to take a very, very small diameter of wire so it stays flexible. I did cut up a pair of old headphones and used one of the very thin wires inside for it so it stays very flexible. I also added a little PCB here so to not stress the connections here because this is a little bit of fragile but it works. To make this whole thing function I had to uh, design a connector between the motor and the pressure regulator. For this I used as always FreeCAD and the files are available to download online. Uh, you can find the Thinkiverse links in the description to it. With the first versions of this I then had a problem and the problem was that I found out that this turning knob here in the middle when you turn it it will shift up and down. So if you have uh, the, the motor directly a proxy to the knob it will rip itself off uh, because the when it turns down it it moves away and then then it rips off so i had to add a sliding connector that looks a little bit like this it's basically a hexagon that goes into a hexagon tunnel and can slide in and out uh, you can see it here there's a little gap and this gap will get smaller and bigger depending on in how direction in, in what direction you turn the knob the motor itself is zip tight in place uh, i have a little mark inside of the adapter here where the motor can sit so it can't move left and right to fasten it down i tried to use screws but it turned out it's not so easy to tighten the screws when they are so close to the rest of the material so i opted for for a zip tie mount in the end so that's basically it for today uh, i hope this was useful information for you and in part two of this we will uh, design and build the PCB that controls the whole thing and write the Arduino code for it. See you next time.